Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we're doing here is we're finding area of real world problems or real world situations. And so that may include using or finding areas of parallelograms or rectangles or triangles or uh, putting pieces together or taking things apart, removing things, finding the area of something and subtracting it from another area or finding other areas and putting them together. So let's take a look at this problem here. We had says below is a drawing of a wall that is to be covered with either wallpaper or paint. The wall is eight feet high. All right, so now what I'm going to do is start put, putting in some values here. The wall is eight feet high, so that's a height. Here's my wall, drawing of my wall is eight feet high, and it's 16 feet wide. Okay, so this means it's 16 feet across, going this way. Now I'm already starting to think about formulas and rectangles and things like this. It's in a 16 by 8 rectangle. The window, mirror, and fireplace are not to be painted. All right, that's important. The window measures 18 inches wide and 18 inches wide. Oh, this is going to be interesting. And 14 feet high. Now, that is very interesting because if it's 14 feet high, like that, boy, this is certainly not drawn to scale, 18 inches and 14 feet. The fireplace is five feet wide. Wide. Either way, I'm just going to keep putting in my values the way I'm reading them. And three feet high, so that's three feet over here. While the mirror is four feet wide, so that's a four feet right there. And two feet high, and it says, yes, it's not drawn to scale. That's obviously the case. All right, now that 18 inches I have to be very careful with. Those 18 inches, if I have 12 feet excuse me, if I have 12 inches and one foot, that's going to give me one and a half feet. So I'm going to convert that right now to one and a half feet, 18 inches. So uh, yes, so 12 inches and one foot. So that's 12. I have six left, which is half a foot. So one and a half feet there. Now I need to find out the area to be wallpapered. I'm not going to wallpaper a window or a mirror or a fireplace. So once I find all these areas, I'm going to have to subtract from the total. Now, the total area is the entire wall. It's my 8 times my 16, and that's a rectangle. So that's a length times a width. And so I'm going to plug in my values, my 16 times 8, okay? And I'm going to take my 16, multiply it by 8. 8 times 6 gives me 48. 8 uh, times 1 gives me 8 plus 4 is a 12. So this is a 128 squared foot wall. Okay, let me erase this area here. Okay. Now that I have that, my total, I need to find out those three pieces, the area of those three pieces, and then remove them from my total. Okay, so let me put that 128 over here, because that's my total, and I'm going to start to find the other pieces. So let's do the mirror. So the mirror is another length times width, and that mirror is going to be four feet, or it is four feet by two feet which means it's eight feet squared, okay? So I'm going to need to remove eight feet from that. I'm gonna circle this. Here's my little squared, okay? And for my fireplace, for my fireplace, I'm going to uh, have another rectangle. Here's my length times width again. And so this particular rectangle is a five by three. So it's five times three which gives me 15, and that's feet again, feet squared. And I'm going to circle that area. And again, this is not going to be wallpapered, so I know I have to remove this from my total. Now, the window I saved, because this one's a little tricky. All right, so my area is still length times width, but I have a fraction in here, or a mixed number, so I have to be careful. So I have a one and a half, I use parentheses this time, times 18, okay? And so right on the side here, over here, I'm just going to do my little one and one half. I'm going to turn that. Here's my one and one half times my 18. I'm going to turn this into an improper fraction. So if I have one and one half, that means I have three halves times 18. I turn that into a fraction too. I can reduce. So this becomes a one and this becomes a nine. Okay, so my three times nine gives me 27 over one, which is simply 27. So my area is 27 feet squared. 
Now, why are these values important? Again, these values are important because they're not being wallpapered. The entire walls area is this value here, 128 uh, feet squared. So in order for me to find out exactly how much wallpaper I need, I will remove the parts that I'm not wallpapering, like the window with the 18 inches, um, oh, excuse me, with the 27 inches, 27 feet squared. Not that inches. This guy over here. This guy over here. And the area of the mirror, which is 8 feet squared. And the area of the fireplace, which happens to be 15 feet squared. Okay? So what I can do is actually combine all of those areas, my 27 from the window, the 8 from the mirror, and the 15 from the fireplace, and I'll put all these guys together. So my 7 and my 8 give me 15, plus another 5 gives me 20. My 2 plus 2 gives me 4, plus 1 gives me 5. Okay? So that's 50 uh, square feet that I'm not going to be wallpapering. So I need to remove that from my 128 total. Okay. And if I do, that's a subtraction. I'll have 8 over here. And if I take 5 from 12, I get 7. And there you have it. I'm going to need 78 squared feet, or feet squared, uh, to, to, actual, uh, to do the wallpapering. Okay, or paint, either way. All right. Well, that's the deal, folks. Nice long problem for you. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.